Jason, again, you were eerily confident after game six, just like you were in Milwaukee after game five. Why, what happened and what's it like to reach this pinnacle to get over this hump that you've been able to, not been able to get over the last few years? Um, I don't know, I just feel like, one, if you ask the question, how confident are you? I, I just feel like as a competitor, it's only one way to answer that question. Um, you know, not trying to be arrogant or anything, but I just really believe in myself. I really believe in our team. And, um, you know, it's the biggest game of the season of my career. Um, and I just had faith that we were going to give it all we had, um, regardless of the outcome. Um, but it feels great, honestly. <laughs> um, you know, some of those guys have been in the Eastern Conference Finals four times, my third time. Um, and, you know, obviously we know we won't win a championship, right? But, you know, to get over this hump uh, in, in, in the fashion that we did it, uh, obviously we took the toughest route possible. Uh, and then to win a game seven to go to the championship on the road uh, is special. when, you know, they kept coming at you guys throughout the game and you're able to hang on and pull it out at the end? Yeah, um, you know, losing my first year um, and, and losing to these guys in, in the bubble. Um, I think going through those tough times, um, you know, helped us grow, helped us learn. And, you know, once we get in that situation again, you know, we respond differently. And uh, I think that's what it was today. Um, you know, we would get up a big lead and, you know, they're a great team, great, you know, well coached, and they would come back. Um, but, you know, we kept responding and, you know, we kept the lead and kept making winning basketball plays, everybody. Uh, and it was, it, it was, it was big. It really was. And you, um, you guys have been through a lot. You know, like you said, J uh, Jalen and Marcus have been to four conference finals. You've been to three. In this playoffs, you guys beat the three teams that have beat you the last three years in the playoffs and ended your season. Um, do you think sort of those collective experiences over the past few seasons all kind of helped you guys get to where you are now? Yeah, I, I, I truly do. Uh, you know, and, and in the moment when you lose those series, obviously, you know, it, it hurts and it's tough, but you never forget it. And I think, you know, that's what we all have in common that we all been through those tough times and we, uh, you know, we, 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 we remember how that felt. And, you know, we, we didn't want to have that feeling again, you know, leaving here tonight. So, uh, you know, we left it all on the floor. And uh, obviously, you know, we got it done. Um, you're the first player, obviously, to win that Larry Bird trophy, named after a guy whose records you've broken and continue to chase. How does it feel to, to have won that trophy and, and just the fact that it's named after a Celtic great that you're trying to live up to? Uh, you know, it, it's an honor. It still doesn't even seem real right now. Uh, you know, I'm just extremely happy and, and grateful, um, you know, for all of this. And, you know, regardless of how long I've been in the league, uh, I'm not too far removed from, you know, when I was in high school or, and when I was dreaming about moments like this. Uh, so, you know, I still feel like a kid at some time that I'm really truly living out my dream. Uh, you know, I thank God every day just to be in this position um, to be able to do that. So to, to be the first person to win this award, um, obviously after, you know, Larry Bird, um, still hasn't like sunk in there yet. Um, but, you know, I'm gonna take it home and, you know, show Deuce tomorrow and uh, enjoy it. Hey, Jason, uh, you you also wore the Kobe armband today. What went into your thinking to wear that in this game in particular? Um, you know, obviously that was my, my idol. That was my, you know, inspiration. That was my favorite player. Uh, 
you know, the shoes I wore, or been wearing the last couple of games, you know, were, you know, dedicated to him. Um, and, you know, I just, today, before I took my nap, um, you know, I, I do it sometimes. I, I watch, I was watching, you know, some film, you know, and, and some moments from him in his career. Uh, you know, it's the biggest game of my career thus far. And, you know, you know, I want to wear that armband to honor him and, um, you know, kind of share that moment in a way. Jason, I know at uh, times you've mentioned or you've addressed the topic, but now that you're in the finals, what what gave you the faith in this team at 18 and 21? And, and what were the things that led you to believe that this was possible? Um, it was tough. I, like, truly, you know, there were there were definitely some tough moments throughout the season where, you know, not doubt yourself, but maybe question, right? Um, question, can we do it? Um, you know, you start to realize how hard it is to win. Um, you know, you start to question yourself, you know, are you good enough to be that guy? Um, but, you know, I think you just trust in, trust in yourself, trust in the work that you put in to get to this point and continue to work. Um, and, you know, it, it can't rain forever. You know, good days was coming. And, you know, I, I felt that we were, whatever it was, one step away from clicking, um, you know, throughout the season. And, you know, obviously once we did, we haven't looked back. Yeah, Jason, was there a moment that you remember that things started to shift? Uh, I mean, the toughest moment for me was, blowing that 25 point lead at, at New York. And then RJ Barry at the game when he shot over me. That was the tough, that was the lowest moment for me. Um, but I think shortly after that, uh, things started to, to turn around. I talked to Marcus and he mentioned the outside people thinking there was turmoil amongst you guys. How was that in, in those early moments able to bring you together to do this and and how close are you because of that? Yeah, I think all of those things have helped, you know, um, you know, from saying that we need to split the group up or get rid of, you know, somebody or me and JB can't play together. Um, that fueled us um, to, to figure it out and, you know, not run from it that, you know, we are obviously going to be here for a while and that we trusted each other and, and that we had to be better. Um, so yeah, I think instead of separating, we became closer. Uh, and I think it has it, shown you know, throughout the season. Jason, um, obviously this is a big accomplishment for all of you guys, especially after you know, missing on a, on a few times, um, but you're now playing a team that's kind of been there and done that. How, how do you make sure, especially like as a leader that you guys aren't satisfied with this and that, that that bigger goal is in front of you, but that, you know, you're going to go and get it still. Uh, yeah, I think, th I mean, this wasn't, this wasn't the goal all season, right? This was just a, a step in, in getting where we want to get to. Um, obviously this is a big accomplishment. You know, we haven't been in a championship yet. And I think, um, you know, I think it's all right to, to be proud of ourselves today and enjoy this. Um, you know, we're not satisfied. We know we still got a long way to go, but, um, you know, it, it, I think it's all right to enjoy this tonight and, and be happy, uh, you know, cause it, it's, it's hard. It's not easy. You know, clearly it's my first time getting a championship. It is, it is not easy. Um, and we know we have a tough task ahead, you know, you know, they've been there many of times. They've won many of times. Um, so. I'm looking forward to it. JT, you were talking about questioning yourself and then having to trust in yourself and push through, especially in this game. This was the night where crunch time, you start hitting those shots. You start finding ways to get through their defense after struggling through that for even just the last few series. How big of just like a breakthrough moment was that for you to make the finals by being able to finally just solve whatever they throw at you? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think in those moments, Right, you don't want to leave and feel like you could have done something more. 
Uh, so I think, you know, I came in with the mindset today that, you know, I was I was willing to do anything it took to win this game, um, whatever, however that looked. Um, you know, we all talked about it, but I know, especially for me, I came into the game. Only thing that mattered was winning. Um, you know, they, they y'all weren't gonna talk about how many points I had or how many shots I missed if we lost. You know, it's all about did you get it done or not. Um, and I knew that coming in today, and, and the group knew that. Um, so I think just you know coming in here and getting it done it was was big. We keep asking about the turnaround and the, those points where things turned around, but how close was this team to not turning it around? How close was it to just actually giving in to all of the stuff that was happening and not getting to that, that point where you said, all right, we're going to do something. Honestly, I don't, you know, I, I never felt that, um, you know, I, I know what a good group, you know, essentially, you know, feels like, right. Um, and I felt that all, all along. Uh, and everybody believed. And I think that was, that's half the battle. Everybody believing and wanting it to, you know, for the right reasons. Uh, it was just a matter of time, honestly.